DPS. I changed a lot of things up. Most of it's still the same, but you know, you have to change up, change up some armor gear. Now, just to note, this is not end game. I have not completed getting all my new armor pieces and stuff, but for the most part, this is pretty much what it's going to look like as of now. Anything changes, I'll make another video, but let's jump right into it. Uh, characters, here's the stats. Now, they are different from <clears throat> last build. The spell damage isn't nearly as high. I substituted that out with a lot more recovery this time around. And I do have a food eaten right now, but obviously you can go with recovery drinks as well. I think I like the recovery drinks better with this build anyway, but personal preference. We got 52 into Magic. We added the, the two that we got from 14 to 16. We added those into Magicka. You can add them into whatever though. Two really doesn't make or break the difference. Uh, okay, skills. The bar one, DPS. We got total dark in here. This one's huge, you know pretty much kills off all magic abilities when you're fighting up against them puncturing sweeps is still our um, main source of DPS it wasn't last time but we switched over to it uh, repentance not only does it give you life when you know you press it you press the button it gives you life off of dead bodies on top of that uh, there's no magic cost and it gives you a passive of increasing your health stamina magic of recovery by 10% so it's a nice one to have uh, radiant oppression still you got to have that on every bar that you use um, then our gap closer is toppling charge this is your standard um, typical gap closer for a templar and then our ultimate is devouring storm i put this one on just to get the vampire passives for this bar and it's a nice one to have you especially with this up close and personal build it's not bad back bar is healing <clears throat> we start out with purifying ritual this is a must <clears throat> as a templar you gotta have that excuse me i was trying to clear the semen out of my throat um next is structure entropy this one's just nice to have for when you're healing and stuff you just throw that on and helps out your dps and it's a dot so it's not a bad one uh sun shield in place of healing ward now that they nerfed the balls out of healing ward you gotta keep this one on here it's not a bad one to use it's you know it also deals damage when people hit you with it so it's not a bad one at all uh, elusive mist is the next one this one is just another vampire move just to pop in there so i get the passes but it's also one of my escapes the nice one to have uh, pretty much there's no one nothing else to say about that except for it's really used mainly for escape and then lastly you have breath of life which again is not bad on the heels it, even with the update it really isn't bad it cuts it in half so it's you heal yourself for about 3k so it's really not bad and then ice comet just because distance dps it's nice it's aoe it's nasty it's good um jump right into the gear here um we're still rolling with the torx back swords this is one of the things i haven't upgraded as of now uh, i'm probably gonna run with them again just with v16 once i get the material i almost have that so that's what we'll be running uh, i got the rest of staff of willpower i want to swap this out for the rest of the um, Masters Resto Staff, but as of now, this is what we're rolling with. So these two can be interchangeable for your build if you want to follow this. Still rolling with Engine Guardian, and I would like to upgrade that to 16, but if not, you know, it's not the end of the world, but still definitely rolling with the Engine Guardian helmet and shoulders. Uh, for the rest, we run a five-piece Phoenix. Now, Phoenix is pretty good because it gives you recovery, spell damage, and max magicka. Your five pieces you get an extra life pretty much once you die um, you pretty much turn into a statue and then you blow up for you know 16,000 damage in PvP be like 8k damage AoE oh, I'm sorry I read that wrong you heal yourself for 16,000 and you blow up for 8k flame damage either way it's it's nice just to have an extra life every 10 minutes it actually does come in handy in PvP and in dungeons and stuff uh, I, I definitely would go with this one that's what I rock all the way down to the boots uh, and then our necklace and rings it's all willpower and that's that's what I run that's gonna be your most expensive part is the willpower necklace and both rings and then finally we're just gonna jump into champion champion points um, a lot of these obviously can be interchangeable based on your play style uh, we'll start here in the mage. I have 30 in Thermitage. That's just your pretty much your magic damage. Got 30 into that, and then the rest into Spell Crit, which is Elfborn. 
Uh, for the green, I have 12 into maximum Magicka Recovery. Magicka, okay, sorry. Magicka Recovery, and then the rest into uh, reduce the spell cost of, you know, spells and such. Uh, the Warrior, this one is something I want to change, actually. I used to have it all into Bastion because, you know, that's when I used Healing Ward and shit was actually nice and different stuff like that, but I'm gonna switch that out for Quick Recovery, the Healing one. Trying to look around to see if there's another one. I think it is only that one. Yeah, I'm gonna switch that out for Quick Recovery, but honestly, Champion Points is all personal preference. So you guys do you, I'll do me, but this is pretty much what I'm gonna do here, just to get that Breath of Life better off. Uh, and since I really don't use shields anymore, it's not that big of a deal for me. And yeah, guys, that is pretty much the build. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the chat box below. And that's it, guys. I'll talk to you when I finish this build. Peace out, guys.